Yeah, Fab TV just got here. Hey, man. What's your name? Wait, wait, Fernando. Fernando, I'm Graham. I don't need a slate. You don't I, need I, just Graham. Graham. You don't need an ID. I know who you are. Oh, thank you. Yeah, nice the, to meet you, brother. Best film in Germany? <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, Or yeah. best actor in Germany? I got I got best actor. They they, they blessed me with that privilege. It was amazing. That's it was awesome, amazing. Awesome. Yeah. So tell yeah. me how it was working on The Black Gelf. It was extreme. It was a long process and it was one of the hardest roles I've ever done and the most uh, enjoyable roles I've ever done. It was everything rolled up into it. Like I said to another guy who was talking to before, it was basically like 15 years of acting before led up to that role. I put everything into it, you know what I mean? So I'm hoping people when they watch it, they feel that energy off it, you know? Well, there must be something about this film because everyone's talking about it. They're yeah. talking about talking about it. So, yeah. And now you're here at this film festival and it's going to... It's gonna do what? Look, it's won two things in Germany, right? Yeah, yeah, best film, best actor, as I said, and uh, there's, there, there is a lot of hype about it, and people are talking a lot about it. But I just, I hope when they watch, they, I, I think we were trying to make something that's universally connectable. Any city in the world, you put this story, and people will relate to it. So I think that's what's kind of creating a bit of buzz about it. You know, people that watch it, they know people that have gone through stuff that's in it. You know what I mean? Um, so tell me about the the character, with the character that you play. I play Kanto, he's kind of in his early 30s and he's been basically a career criminal now probably for the past 15 years, dealing drugs, you know, wheeling, dealing, running the muck and we're meeting him in his story in crisis, the walls are closing in on him, he's, his girlfriend's kicked him out, not letting him see his daughter anymore, his father he hasn't seen in years, has just come back to town, his crew are turning on him, the walls are falling down around him, he has a guard that's after him, that's basically an Irish cop who's coming after him for money that he owes him, so it's a wow. corrupt cop, you know what I mean, wow. so it's like, there's a lot happening there and he's, it's, it's just crisis from the moment you meet, meet him in the story and it just keeps getting worse and worse for him so do you think the things that happened to you in your life you brought into being to make this character yeah 100 yeah i've, I've known you, a sold dr you sold drugs no no okay, i'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. No, I'm no, you no, no i haven't but I, okay. i've known people who've done a lot of things in oh, okay, life and right, right, a lot of crazy characters and stuff and I, I i tried to draw on a lot of guys i've known three or four different individuals i've known over the years who tragically went down that route and kind of like it you know didn't end good for some some of them got their life together but like it's a story that needs to be told because it does happen to a lot of guys who don't resolve the issues that they have you know what i mean they just keep going down the bad path you know sounds like a really really deep story yeah Good. it is yeah and it, and, it, and it touches on basically what creates people like that it's basically father son and passed down you know unresolved kind of trauma you know you know it's one thing that people are saying about this film because they say it's an indie film but when you watch it it doesn't have the f the, the feeling of an indie no, film no no I, I i i think because they really try to make it very entertaining along with it be you've got our dp carl there the way he shot it basically visually looks absolutely beautiful like it's got a lot of energy to it you know the camera's always moving the characters are always going through something like it's but it has that beautiful raw indiness at its core as well you know so was it like a panavision or alexa or uh, what, what was the Carol, camera you used? what was the camera oh on red cow okay red. Well, best of go. the best as far as i know yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's okay red cameras yeah. are pretty good kick, yeah, yeah pretty good yeah, that's yeah, all yeah, okay yeah. so um the director um what did he do to you to like make you stay in that character and, and keep the pedal the metal the whole time. Didn't have to do anything to me. John brought the role to me because he knows from years of work with me and just being friends that I knew what the character was and we both knew but we just talked back and forth about it a lot. He's known tons of guys that are like Kanto as well as I have, you know. So we just basically compiled ideas and just ran stuff back and forth and that, you know. But on set, I mean it wasn't like by the time we got on set we were good to go. You know what I mean? Like it was like as far as like the acting was concerned, you know, we just talked and talked the months leading up to it, you know. He him and Tyrion involved me in the process of writing it as well. Like I didn't write it but they'd write it and like give me input and they change things and it was you know what I mean so it was very collaborative you know when you were filming it um were you in a zone like you you, be, you became the character like in a yeah, zone and did yeah. you stay in character when you were on break yeah 100 percent. like yeah uh, like like wasn't necessarily like the method thing to the extreme but basically like you can always keep a mood going and stay in character and kind of in between like we got shut down for seven weeks during COVID because we were shooting for a week and then we got shut down for legal reasons because COVID was in the middle of you know and all the politics behind that but in those weeks that I was off I just stayed in Dublin city centre and the house they put me in just being that character just you know to a certain extent just walking around having interactions and all that like, keep myself in the headspace you know so you shot it all in Ireland hmm? you shot it in Ireland yeah all in Dublin city centre North Dublin South inner city Dublin yeah oh, that's cool that's very yeah cool. Okay, yeah okay. All the locations are real locations. Some of these girls over here are saying that you're like the next, uh, you know, Irish Brad Pitt. I don't know about that. <laughs> Give up with that. That's Come on. Saying. That's what they're saying. Come on. Okay, well, I'll take it. I'll take it's, it's it. Yeah. Like, it's a news. It's yeah, a news yeah. It's First time I've heard that, mate. But yeah, that yeah, sounds good. Cool. good. <laughs> You'll Appreciate take that. You'll yeah, take yeah. That. Who's saying that? <laughs> Lovely. All right, cool. Well, hey, it's a pleasure to meet you, and uh, I can't wait to see the film. I saw bits and pieces of it, so that's yeah. why I'm here tonight. Cause it just looks different, and it's. Everyone's talking about the way it was shot and how different it is and how great a job you did. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thank, thank you very pleasure, much. Man. Lovely meeting you.